Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor was founded by Bob Farrell and Ken McCarthy and first opened its doors in Portland, Oregon in 1963. Farrell was inspired by a place called John's Ice Cream from when he was growing up in New York. From the beginning, the concept was pretty much established. From the piano player in the corner of the dining room to the red wallpaper on the walls. Tiffany lamps adorned the dining room, while cherub fixtures hung on the walls. Employees wore early 1900s themed clothes and straw boater hats. Farrell's provided a wholesome, fun place for families, kids, couples, and school groups to come and celebrate their successes. They were also a popular spot for birthday celebrations, which featured free Sundays and waiters singing Happy Birthday. They had a simple menu, printed in newspaper style, of burgers, sandwiches, and creative ice cream treats. Their largest Sunday, called The Zoo, was delivered with great fanfare by multiple employees carrying it wildly around the restaurant on a stretcher, accompanied by the sound of ambulance sirens. This iconic Zoo Sunday contained a giant scoop of vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, chocolate chip mint, peppermint, and spumoni ice cream to make the first layer. Orange, raspberry, and lemon sherbet alternated with scoops of vanilla to create the second layer. Strawberry, chocolate, pineapple, butterscotch, and blackberry toppings were poured over the entire bowl. Finally came three sliced bananas, whipped cream, cherries, and toasted almonds, and topped with a plastic toy animal. At the height of its popularity, Farrell's had 130 locations nationwide. It didn't take long for Farrell's to become a household word synonymous with entertainment, family fun, and birthday parties. In 1972, the Farrell's chain was purchased by the Marriott Corporation. Despite this, Farrell himself stayed with the company. It was often said that as long as Farrell stayed with the company, not a single restaurant ever had to close. A great self-promoter, Bob Farrell even built the world's largest Sunday for the Guinness Book of World Records in 1974 standing at 1,551 pounds. Farrell was also big into customer service. While at Farrell's, he developed a speech for new employees called Give Em The Pickle, the story is about how a regular customer had been receiving a free extra pickle whenever he asked for it, and was angered when a new waitress charged him a nickel for the extra pickle. The customer wrote Farrell, saying he would stop coming to the restaurant because of the charge. Farrell made amends with the customer by writing him a letter and offering him a free ice cream sundae. The phrase, give him the pickle, became a customer service motto for the company.
Eventually, in 1985, Farrell did leave the company that he founded and expanded over the years. Not long afterwards, Marriott sold the chain to a group of private investors. The new owners changed the direction of the business, opting for a more orthodox family dining model. Sales dropped, and most of the parlors were sold off by the 1990s. A few branches lingered on, and in 2006, the last of the original Farrells closed down. That was in Eugene, Oregon. But in 2009, a company called Parlor Enterprises tried to revive the brand with Farrell himself acting as an advisor. The reborn Farrells opened eight branches in Southern California, plus some in Hawaii. Unfortunately, by 2016, Farrell's was in serious financial trouble, and the branches started to close down again. The company struggled to gain traction, even after entrepreneur and host of CNBC's reality business show, The Profit, Marcus Liminus, stepped in to buy the brand in 2016. Farrell's ended up closing its last branch in Bree, California in 2019. Now, Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor is a place for nostalgia, for first jobs, birthdays, and childhoods. What do you remember most about Farrell's? <laughs>